Hi, today we're going to learn how to replace a flat tire in the Inokim's light model. It's something very common, but it's very simple to replace the tube in the tire. These are the only tools that we need to fix a flat tire. A key number 19, a Allen key number 4, Allen key number 3, a screwdriver and a pump. Step 1. We need to remove the plastic cover on both sides of the scooter. In order to do that, we will use a coin. Step 2. We need to disconnect the motor cable, which is located on the left side of the scooter. Step 3. We need to disconnect the brake cable, which is located on the right side of the scooter, by using the key set that we are getting when you're, when you're buying Inokim scooter. We are using Allen key number 4. We are opening the screw just a little bit. The fourth step is to open the screws from both sides of the scooter. We are using 19 key. We are doing it slowly and we are holding the tire from the bottom. Step 5. We need to take out the small screw which is located on the right side of the scooter. For that, we are using the key set that you get when you purchase any Inokim scooter. We are using Allen key number three and holding the tire from the bottom. Step six, we need to take out the tire. We're doing it by pressing on both sides, on both screws will go out. It's very simple very easy. Step 7. As you can see the tire has no hair inside which means that the tube is ruined or something else happens to her. So we need to change that. We need to open the six screws that we have here. We are using again the key set uh, using a, a key Allen key number 4 and we are opening the six screws that we have here. After we took all the six screws, now we need to take out the rim. Step eight. We need to press on the tire a little bit to make it loose. And after that, we are taking out the rim gently. Step nine. We need to separate the wheel from the motor. We are doing it by pressing on the front side and by that we are taking it out the motor and separate it from the wheel step 10 now I will show you how to change the damaged tube with a new one we're taking it out we're holding the metal here and taking it out easily step 11 we need to do a visual test to see if there's any thorns or screws that are inside or outside of the wheel. We can check it like that to see if there is something inside and outside of course. Step 12. Now we take the new tube and put it inside the wheel. It's very easy. We are pressing it inside with our fingers. Very simple. That's it. Step 13. Now we are taking the motor and the wheel and we are putting the wheel we have here. You see this little socket here? It's supposed to be in front of the metal the metal thing here for, for the tube of the tube. It's like that. And now it's ready. Step 14. We are taking the rim and put it back on the wheel. 
we need to put the rim back in place. First, we check that the socket here is right in front of the metal valve, like that. And then we use the valve on the rim and put it on the metal valve, like that. And then we put the screws back in place again. Step 15, we are putting air in the tire using our pump, our Enokim's pump. It's very easy. We're taking the pump and connect it to the valve, like that. We take the, the plastic part here, like that. And then we put air inside. It's supposed to be 45 PSI, or if we don't have a measurement, we can press it and to see if it's strong enough. Not too strong, but not too soft. And that's it. Step 16. Now we're taking the tire back to its place. We are holding it from both sides using two hands. And now we push it through the socket all the way up. And now we close the screws. Not all the way. Step 17. Now we are taking the screw, the small screw that holds the the drum, the brake drum. Now we need to close the screws on both sides to close them strong. We need to use key number 19 to close it. Now we need to close it stronger. We need to see that it's getting inside the socket. Step 18. Now we are putting back the cable, the brake cable, back in place. And then we take it, we put it beneath the, the screw. And now we close it by using Allen key number four from the key set. We're closing it hard. And now it's ready. Step 19. Now we need to connect the motor cable back to its place. Now we are connecting it. It's supposed to be the marks here should help us. And that's it. The final step. We will put back the plastic cover on both sides. We will use the coin to close it. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Hope it's been helpful for you. It's easy to do it alone, back home. See you next video.